Hi there, and welcome to Worship TV On Location. It is wonderful that you have decided to join us. Well, what can I tell you about the weather this week? It's been incredibly inclement. In fact, I'm pretty certain that we've had all the weathers that you can possibly think of. We've had rain. We've had snow. We've had high winds. It's been quite amazing, actually. This is unprecedented, I would say, especially down in the south of England, where I am. But here we are at Worship TV on location. And today I'm going to bring you part 64 of the Father's Heart. And we're going to take a look once again at 1 Peter, the fifth chapter. We'll go from verse 7, but I want to look at verses 9 and 10. If I can get that far, that's what I'd like to do. Well, here is what the Word of God says. It says this. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares for you. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, lion looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Jesus Christ. So, after you have suffered a little while, he will restore, support, and strengthen you, and he will place you on a firm foundation. I'm going to be preaching in a, a few days' time, and I was preparing this message, and as I was preparing it, it brought me back to a time many years ago when I was 22 years old and I was at a home group in Cornwall. I used to go to this particular home group in Falmouth in Cornwall and I went there because my mum and dad wanted me to go. That was the reason for it. I didn't particularly have a strong faith in God at that time. In fact, I was rebelling, but I used to go anyway. And I can remember meeting Dottie. Dottie was probably 85 years old. She was an old, old lady. And I loved that lady. She was so interesting. And I can remember after one particular home group meeting, we were having a cup of tea. And I sat next to her and we started to talk. And she told me about her life and how varied and, and exciting it was. And she had a really strong faith in Almighty God. And I can remember saying to her, what would you do if when you pass away, you find out that Christianity was a complete load of rubbish? And I'll never forget her answer. She said to me, I would have lived my life with the greatest joy in the world, but I know it's not rubbish. Wow. And in all those years, I've never forgotten that. It's always been there. And so when I look at scriptures like, give all your worries and cares to God for he cares for you, that is exactly what Dottie did on a daily basis, every single day. She used to just give everything to Almighty God. Now we see from this scripture very clearly, stay alert, watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. He does, because he knows his time is short. And so consequently, we are going to be tempted. Consequently, we are going to be in all sorts of trouble now and again, especially if we don't keep our eyes focused on Almighty God. On last week's programme, on part 
63 of the Father's Heart, I brought you a message titled, I've got this. Because I believe absolutely that if you take your problems and your concerns and your cares to Almighty God, he will say similar words to you, I've got this. Almost like the Lord is saying, I know exactly what I'm doing. You just need to trust me. And here we have another issue for a Christian. Another issue for one of us to think about and contemplate. Another issue where we say to ourselves, that's the point. Do we trust in Almighty God? Well, if you don't, then what are you going to do? Think about the circumstance that you're in. Think about the situation that you are in right now. Take God out of the equation. And what have you got? Work it out for yourself. That's what you're going to need to do. Work it out for yourself. Because God's not going to help you. Because you're not asking him. So therefore, we have an issue. Either we're going to trust in Almighty God, or we're not. If we go on, this is what verse 9 says. Stand firm against him. Be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. Be strong in your faith. How can you be strong in your faith if you're not trusting in Almighty God? Now, there could be a number of reasons why that trust has dissipated, why that trust might not have ever been there in the first place. That is true. Humans do things that annoy us. Human beings do things that upset us. Humans tend to do things where we stop trusting in them. That happens. That is the truth. It always will be the truth. Because, hello, we are human. That's why. But we're not talking about humans here. We're not talking about the human nature. What we're discussing here is Almighty God. What we're discussing here is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That's what we're talking about. And therefore, our trust in Him needs to come from a different point of view. And that is this. He's never let you down. He never will let you down. I used to sing a song when I was a child at Sunday school, trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. You must trust and obey. And you can make a decision. If you feel that you're not trusting in Almighty God the way you should, you can make a decision today that you're going to trust him. Let me put it this way to you as plainly as I possibly can. You tell me a time when he's let you down. You can't. You may well have prayed for something. You may have prayed for a job. You may have prayed for a house, whatever it be and it didn't happen. Well, that doesn't mean to say that you stop trusting in Almighty God. It didn't happen for a reason. You prayed and it didn't happen. Here's a new way maybe to pray. Lord, I need a job. I am desperate for employment, Father, because I have no money. If it be your will, let me find a job. 
if it be your will. Jesus says that. Take this cup away from me. For I don't want to drink its poison, he says in the Garden of Gethsemane. But then he says these words. But not my will, but your will be done. And if we can make a decision that we are going to trust in Almighty God, no matter what happens, because it's His will, not our will, then I know this. Our trust will grow and grow and grow. And when you see words like this, stand firm against the evil one and be strong in your faith, the way to be strong is to trust Almighty God. The way to be strong is to be able to say, not my will, but your will be done. I'll say that again. Not my will, but your will be done, Almighty God. And as we say those words, we can begin to trust in him so much more. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. We must trust and obey. Let's look once more at verse 9 where it says, Stand firm against the evil one and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering that you are. Stand firm by trusting and obeying Almighty God. Stand firm by saying to him, not my will, but your will be done. Heavenly Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus for all those who are watching this television program right now. Father, if they ask you to help them to trust in you more, I pray that you pour into them your trust, your love, your joy, and your peace forevermore, world without end. Amen and amen. If you'd like to contact me, I'd love to hear from you. And the way to do that is to send an email to this address. It's tv at worshipradio247.org. That's tv at worshipradio247.org. 247.org.